Hi guys, Christy Wimber here. Um, we're going to continue in 2 Corinthians here. We've been uh, talking through the first couple chapters here. I'm going to continue today in uh, chapter 3, verses 7 through 18. We've been talking about Paul. We've been talking about what, uh, how Paul encourages us and uh, reminds us of the power, reminds us of the Holy Spirit, reminds us that God has marked us uh, for power and for purpose, reminds us that God's power uh, actually even uh, helps us forgive and, and uh, the people around us and be able to walk in wholeness and healing and that God in that power has marked us for purpose and that we're letters of God's spirit. We're all ministers, no matter our background, no matter what we come from, uh, no matter what we know, that God has marked us with his spirit for power, for purpose, for ministry. And in the end here, in verse 7 uh, through 18, in chapter 3, um, he talks about the glory of the new covenant. The glory is the presence of God, and this presence of God that we have in God marking us, that it's all for God's glory. Your life is made to reveal and reflect God's glory. Glory. There's no greater calling that we have on this earth but to reflect the glory of God. And so in that, God has empowered us. And in that purpose, God has given us a boldness. And some of you discount yourself in ministry and you discount yourself in life because you feel like you can't really talk about the Lord and you don't have the boldness to share about God. And what I would encourage you to do is to ask God to fill you with this spirit because what his spirit does is that it empowers us for life and empowers us to say yes and no to things like what we've talked about so that we say yes to the things that God has for us instead of uh, to the things of this world. So it empowers us for blessing and for good things. And God's spirit also empowers us for ministry. And that's the ministry that God has invited us into, that it is God's glory. We reflect God's glory when he fills us with his spirit, that we, we reflect who God is. And in that, we need a boldness because we need to be able to, you know, kind of share to the people around us. And you need to remember that people around you, you know, so often, you know, we think we're not, uh, we don't communicate clear enough, that we're not good enough, that we can't, you know, maybe memorize scripture good enough or we'll mess the scriptures up. But the truth is, it is God's spirit that can give you the boldness to share about Christ. And how do we know that it is the spirit of Christ that is on us? It always leads us into freedom. In other words, it is the spirit of the Lord, Paul talks about, that leads us to freedom. It leads us to victory. How do I know when I get a word from God? It leads me into freedom. How do I know when somebody gives me a word from God? It causes me to want to run in freedom. It, if it causes a fear, if it causes me to run, then I just think that's not the Lord. Because where God's spirit is, there's a freedom that's taking place. So that's not just to us, but then that's also through us. How do we know we're operating from God's spirit? Is that we are bringing people into freedom. We're causing people to become all that they're supposed to be. And in that, what begins to happen is God's glory begins to shine. Uh, when, there's, when there's more of God in us, we begin to reflect um, uh, God's glory in an ever-increasing way that Paul talks about. So a great reminder, and just finishing up chapter 1, 2, and 3 here of 2 Corinthians, is just the reminder that God's power is for us, and that God's power is for purpose. And it's, it's not just for us, but that it's for the people around us. And that you have, um, despite where you come from, despite your hardships, despite the things that you've had to overcome, that God has empowered us for life and for ministry. And there's nothing more important than that. There's nothing more important than God's kingdom advancing in us and through us. And just a really good reminder for us today.